the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Established in 1889 in India by Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, he claimed to be the awaited reformer of the latter days, the one awaited by all major world religions. In this day and age, the teachings followed by Ahmadi Muslims are imparted through His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Musrur Ahmed, the Caliph and Supreme Head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Within a century, the movement has reached the corners of the world and has been recognized and praised by the global community. I would like to draw to the presence of honorable members the presence in the gallery of His Holiness Mirza Mazroor Ahmad, head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community. The Honorable Member for Humber River, Black Creek. Mr. Speaker, earlier today, the global spiritual leader of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community arrived in Ottawa for a formal visit to Parliament Hill. During his time with us, he will meet with cabinet ministers, senators, members of parliament and the prime minister in an effort to further underscore his peaceful message of love for all and hatred for none. This work is part of an ongoing effort undertaken by His Holiness to showcase the peaceful nature and beauty of the faith and while calling upon global powers to advance an agenda of peace, religious freedoms, and the advancement of human rights in Canada and around the world. I applaud His Holiness and members of the Global Amadei of Faith for their work, and I extend a hand of friendship on behalf of my constituents and the people of Canada. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Around the world, the community has established foundations for a constructive influence of Islam by developing social projects, educational institutes, health services and the construction of mosques. In the UK, the community is continuing to grow as an integral part of British society, contributing in all walks of life. In Scotland, the community has branches in Edinburgh, Dundee and Glasgow. The establishment of these branches provides a base from which the Ahmadiyya Muslim community can serve not only its members but wider society as a whole. And this is true of every town and city where the Ahmadiyya community is established. Your presence in this country is a living example of how Britain has become a true home to people from all corners of the world. ولا تنسوا الفضل بينكم إن الله بما تعملون بصير. At a time when all eyes are on the role Muslims play in society, there is one community that leads by example rejecting extremism and working with the government to counteract radicalization. The organizers of a multi-faith peace campaign launched because of the Scottish Ahmadiyya community have joined with other faiths to unite against extremism. Standing against extremism, members of various faith and community groups came together in Glasgow to lend their support to a new advertising campaign being launched by the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. As part of a UK-wide campaign, buses in Glasgow, Edinburgh and Dundee will display a message promoting peace. Leaders of the mosque... In the motto of Ahmadiyya, love for all, hatred for none, is something that everybody can recognise as a good thing and want to work for. And the one thing which I feel the Ahmadiyya community gives to the local area is very much grassroots. They come out and speak to people, involve people. I've been on charity runs with them. Uh, with clean streets, they reach out to the community and that's the great thing about them. 
The founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, stated, My desire, my wish and my objective is serving humanity. It is my job, my faith, my inspiration and my way of working. In this day and age, the teachings followed by Ahmadi Muslims are imparted through His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Musroor Ahmed, the Caliph and Supreme Head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community. When Caliphate exists on the basis of justice, consideration for the rights of others and an overall will for peace, as defined by the Quran and the Prophet of Islam, then Caliphate has the ability to serve as a great force for good in this world. His followers, Ahmadi Muslims, number in the tens of millions, spread over 200 countries, making him the leader of the largest single group of Muslims in the world who follow one Imam. The Caliph has spoken at Capitol Hill, the British Parliament, the European Parliament and has held court with dozens of world leaders and is celebrated as a champion of peace by leaders across the world. Today, when we, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, raise the slogan of love for all and hatred for none as a means to establish global peace, we do so directly in fulfillment of the teachings of the Holy Quran and the practice of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. I will, God willing, always continue to carry out my task and my responsibilities of promoting peace, tolerance, justice, and compassion to the corners of the world. I will continue to tell all people that in order to be relieved of the pain and suffering that we face today, we must adopt true justice and equality.